Good day, teachers! Sa video na ito ay pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa paggawa ng Science Action Plan. Tulad ng nakaraang taon, ngayong school year 2021-2022, nasa new normal pa rin po tayo. Bago po tayo magsimula, paalaala lamang po sa lahat na ito ay isang sample action plan lamang po. Ito ay magsisilbing gabay lamang po para sa mga guro sa paggawa ng Science Action Plan. Ano-ano nga ba ang makikita natin sa isang action plan? Ito ay my strategic objectives, strategies, target clientele, activities, resources needed, persons responsible and linkages, time frame and success indicator. Sa strategic objective, dito isusulat ang gusto mong makamit o ang iyong layunin. Ano nga ba ang gusto mong mangyari? Sa strategies naman, dito nakasulat ang lahat ng strategiya na iyong gagawin. Maaaring isulat dito ang kakaibang programa o ang pangalan ng proyekto na gusto mong mangyari upang maisakatuparan ang iyong mga layunin. Sa target clientele naman, ilalagay natin dito kung para kanino nga ba ang ating mga programa o proyekto. Sila ang ating matutulungan kung makakamit natin ang mga layunin ng ating mga gawain. Activities naman, ilalagay natin dito ang lahat ng mga gawain upang maging matagumpay ang ating layunin. Naiisa-isa natin dito ang mga hakbang kung paano maisa sa katuparan ang bawat estratehiya. Activities naman, ilalagay natin dito ang lahat ng mga gawain upang maging matagumpay ang ating layunin. Naiisa-isa natin dito ang mga hakbang kung paano maisa sa katuparan ang bawat estratehiya. Resources Needed Dito naman natin ilalagay ang lahat ng mga kailangan natin upang maisakatuparan ang ating mga layunin. Sa Persons Responsible and Linkages, dito naman isusulat ang lahat ng mga taong involved para maisakatuparan ang mga gawain nilagay natin under activities. Sa time frame, isusulat naman natin dito kung kailan natin gagawin ang lahat ng mga gawain nilagay natin under activities. At ang success indicators, dito natin ilalagay kung ano nga ba ang mga kailangan nating makita para masabi nating naging matagumpay ang ating layunin. At ngayon, tingnan natin ang halimbawang ito. Science Action Plan for School Year 2021-2022 Unang strategic objective, increase promotion rate in science from 75% to 80% by the end of school year. Ang tanong, kailangan bang ilagay natin yung percentage? Okay, mas mainam po na ilagay natin yung percentage para mong maging specific yung objectives natin. Hanggang saan nga ba ang gusto nating promotion rate na ma-achieve? Okay, hindi po kailangan na talagang 75 yung mauna at hanggang 80%. Yan po ay depende sa inyo. Halimbawa, sa taong ito, ang naging target mo ay 75%. So, para sa susunod na taon, kailangan i-increase mo naman yan para mag increase din yung goal natin every year. Sa strategies, pwede natin ilagay remediation and use of strategic intervention materials. For our target clientele, identified learners at risk in complying grade requirements in science. Okay, at kailangan tandaan din na pag-identify natin kung sino yung mga batang at risk kailangan mayroon tayong hakbang na gagawin dyan. So, kailangan makita yan doon sa ating activities. Okay, ito na yung activities natin. Determine learners who have difficulty in passing the grade level standard. So, kailangan may basihan ka paano mo na identify yung bata na siya ay at risk in that particular subject. Number two, conduct remediation activities. Establish partnership with parents in helping students cope with the lessons. Teachers develop strategic intervention materials. Monitor and assess learners' progress from time to time. Okay, para magawa natin yung mga activities na yan, ito yung mga resources naman na ating kailangan. Activity sheets, assessment materials, strategic intervention materials. Para naman sa persons responsible and linkages, okay, kasali dito yung ating school head, teachers, parents, and learners. For our time frame, from September 2021 up to June 2022, so ilalagay natin yung particular month at saka yung particular year for that activity. And for our success indicators, 80% of the learners have passed in science. So, makikisasabi natin na achieve natin yung ating objective kapag yung promotion rate natin sa science ay umabot ng 80%.
And now, proceed tayo sa pangalawang objective to strengthen the conduct of science activities in school. So kahit walang face-to-face -face, na sa pandemic tayo, maaari pa rin tayo makapag-organize ng ating science club gamit po ang ating social media or any other platform online. Then, Science Month Celebration. Target clientele natin sa Science Club Organization, we have all science officers in the classroom. Activities, organize science club, and maintain a functional science club. So, tulad na sinabi ko, kahit pandemic, maaari pa rin tayo makapag-organize ng ating science club para ipagpatuloy pa rin natin kung ano yung activities na meron tayo sa taon na ito. Resources needed, internet connectivity to use social media platform. Responsible persons, we have school heads, science coordinator, learners. Time frame natin na kailangan nakapag-organize na tayo sa September 2021. At yung success indicators natin, if we have organized a science club. Okay, for our science month celebration, Target clientele, all learners, teachers, and parents. Then the activities, Organized Science Month 2021 with the following activities. Okay, nasa sa inyo po kung ano yung mga kaya lang na activities na gagawin natin. Kasi hindi naman natin nakikita o nami-meet yung bata face-to-face. -face. Okay, maaari natin gawin yung ginawa na bago lang nakatatapos na National Science Fair. Yung Sensei Kula. Pwede rin yung science quiz, magkaroon ng poster making contest, at SIM para sa teacher category. Resources needed, IT equipment, science system, science projects, school supplies. Okay, for persons responsible with school ed, teachers, parents, and learners. And of course, because it's science math, the time frame would be September 2021 and success indicators would be 100% of the activities are accomplished with complete documentation and enhanced learner's scientific skills. Okay, another objective we have to participate in the different competitions within school, district, division, or national level. So, alam naman natin kahit wala tayong face-to-face classes, nagkakaroon pa rin po ng different competitions po sa science. Okay, sa strategy po natin ilagay, magkakaroon ng science fair ang inyong school. The target client, there will be all learners. Activities, conduct review, enhancement, and development of learners' ability in science. Conduct elimination in the classroom or school in all events. And participate in different district, division, national level in science fair. For the materials, we have materials for competition. Aki, depende po sa competition na sasalihin ng school, pwede po natin ilagay dito specifically yung mga materials na kakailanganin. Persons responsible, school head, teachers, parents, and learners. Time frame September 2021 to June 2022. Sasali na natin hanggang sa katapusan kasi may mga activities tayo na maaari nating masalihan from the start of the school year up to the end. Then, success indicators, enhanced learners' scientific skills, improved learners' academic achievement. Next objective, to maintain constant and immediate communication with the science teachers. We can have science teachers meeting, professional consultation, mentoring, and coaching, or tagut clientele or the teachers. And for the activities, conduct quarterly meeting. It can be online or limited face-to-face -face with science teachers. Conduct professional consultation with school head and science subject experts. And enhance the culture of mentoring and coaching. For resources, you can have IT equipments. Persons responsible, school head, and teachers time frame from September up to June 2022. Our success indicators would be accomplished activities with complete documentation, established a stronger culture of mentoring and coaching to help the teachers in the development and enhancement of science instruction. Science instruction. Another to recognize exemplary performance of all deserving learners. You can have a strategy like Masayang Parangal, wherein bibigyan natin ng awards yung deserving learners who excel in science. At 
we can do that by giving certificates and that could be given quarterly and our success indicators recognize deserving learners who excel in science another objectives we have all teachers undergo professional development activities in a year to provide quality leadership in managing, motivating, and assessing the needs with appropriate innovations to achieve higher teaching and learning outcomes. Strategies, attendance to trainings, seminars, or what we call as webinars for online, and we have short courses. Our clientele, teachers, and activities conduct or at attend seminar training workshop in science and prepare activity completion report resources wi-fi or data it equipments school and teachers are responsible for that and then time frame we have from september 2021 up to june 2022 success indicators science teachers have attended trainings seminars or webinars short courses and applied knowledge and skills acquired in the training next objective to keep updated on the content and pedagogy in science strategies you can have school learning action cell sessions of course our target clientele there is our science teachers activities conduct meeting with the school head and conduct slack session to address needs of teachers in teaching science resources needed we have it equipments school and teachers are responsible for that for time frames so same from september it's it's a whole year or year round from september to june 2020 and success indicators teachers are updated on the content and pedagogy in science it's very helpful so that our teachers will still be updated on the different pedagogy and to develop functional and conducive science laboratory strategies development of science laboratory and use of science laboratory and or science apparatus so though it's there is no face-to-face -face class the teachers still need to develop a functional conducive science laboratory they still magagamit pa rin yung science laboratory natin kasi may mga activities na yung teachers natin ay mag mag record ng video demonstrating some activities to our learners so ma talagang importante pa rin yung science laboratory natin during this day kahit walang face to face class so maaaring gamitin siya ng mga teachers na mag demo doon and then to record video lessons na pwedeng ipadala sa mga bata to enhance lessons activities we can have conduct meeting with all science teachers okay para naman may paabot sa mga teachers natin what's the importance of that okay, pwede din tayo so that we can have it to develop science laboratory natin yung functional pwede tayo mag slack session about ito and then maintain a functional and conducive science laboratory of course mayroon tayong mga science laboratory in charge so at least maintain pa rin yung laboratory natin okay resources needed we have science apparatus and equipment okay for personal responsible school head teachers parents and learners time from september 2021 to june 2022 and for success indicators we have functional science laboratory